So if you have the AirPods 4 or the AirPods Pro 2, whether it's USB-C, AirPods Pro 2 and or Lightning, well, there's a new beta firmware update that Apple recently released that I've been testing for some time now. And in this video, I'm simply going to be sharing my findings. Something that's slightly different from this update of the AirPods version, unlike some of the videos that I usually do, if I show you the information that my AirPods have right here, you can see if I go to my AirPods Pro 2 and then go all the way down, you can see the version and the case number that I have. So the version is uh, 7E67B with an updated case version, which is 74.5.0. So the B of the version shows that it's a beta build and for you to actually be able to see this version of the airpods and get your iphone to update your airpods after a few uh, minutes you need to put your iphone in developer mode so you can see for me i have developer mode enabled if i go into settings and then um, if i go all the way down you can see developer mode is enabled and now if i go all the way back into my settings and then go like on the bottom of the page developer mode is here and under this section i have airpods testing uh pre-release firmware enabled right there so you can see pre-release beta program and i have my hmht airpods pro 2 with USB C, which are these ones enrolled into this uh pre-release testing and yes for you to enable or allow developer mode on your iphone so that you can carry and enable the, that beta testing settings for your airpods you actually need to have the latest version of xcode installed on your mac and then once you open up xcode Give it a few seconds i'll show you the window that you have to view, be viewing so you see this window that popped up right here on xcode once this window is open you don't have to create a new project to do anything like that all you have to do is just take one end of the usb-c cable and uh, plug it into your iphone if it's usb-c and then take the other end of the usb-c cable and plug it into a mac that has the xcode window open and once you do that you can then go into your settings and then go to where it says privacy and security and go all the way down and you'll be able to turn on developer mode your phone might restart or require you to restart your device in order to do that and then once your phone has restarted you can now go into your settings homepage and then go all the way down and the developer subsection will pop up and now you can go in there and go to the pre-release firmware testing for the airpods and then turn on the ones that you want to test for me you can see i have both turned on but the ones that i'm testing are these ones which are the hmht airpods pro 2 so you can see the pre-release developer mode is enabled on these airpods of course in order to carry this latest beta version of the airpods your iphone also needs to be on the latest ios version at this point in time i believe it's ios 18.3 i'm on ios 18.3 rc this is the one that um, is being run or the os that's running on this iphone right here and basically after you do that then you know a few minutes will pass and then just make sure your airpods and your iphones are connected and after that it will be able to fetch the update that's a simple shortened way on how to get developer mode and then get this new build of airpods like i mentioned i've been testing this update for over a day now and if you are in belgium there's actually a good change that has been added for you so once your airpods are connected to your iphone and you've updated and checked that the new build number has been pushed under this section just below the noise control you actually see a new subsection that has the hearing test option now i was hoping maybe canada might have already approved this so that we can get it but in canada where i'm at you can see i only have hearing protection which has always been existing with the 21b build number which wasn't a beta so for hearing test we don't have that feature in canada but if you're in belgium that's a new feature that has been added someone reached out to me to ask if apple was reducing the active noise cancellation on these airpods uh, pro 2 since you know the airpods pro 3 are pretty much on the way and i actually had been testing uh, the active noise cancellation with uh, one specific song just so that i get a glimpse of the before and after and honestly after updating to this new firmware version of the build number i can't tell that 
there's much of a difference really i'll just go to the same song that i've been playing the noise control feels pretty much the same for me um i can't really tell much of a difference and i'm actually in a place that's not like pretty sound insulated or soundproof if i keep silent you can actually hear like the fridge right there and some of the humming in the place where i'm at so i'll just keep silent a little bit yeah, it feels pretty much the same to me when it comes to active noise cancellation. On my previous video that I did a few hours ago on how to update AirPods Pro and AirPods Pro to this beta firmware version, you can see here a user called GlitzH x uh, mentioned that hey could you please test the update for bugs i'm facing issues related to volume being lower on one side of uh, or airpod pro 2 and please share if any of your issues got fixed with this update so yeah i've been testing it like i mentioned and um I didn't experience that issue where one side or the AirPods and the volume was lower than the other. It actually feels weird when I put them on and then noise cancellation kicks on. Uh, let me go to transparency mode. I should test transparency mode more often. But yeah, I hate that transparency mode has this robotic uh, voice. But just to answer your question, before the update, I wasn't having that issue with my AirPods Pro 2. These are the USB-C version. And after the update, I haven't had the same issue where one side or one pod is louder than the other or lower than the other. But the issue that I did experience, which I hadn't, I didn't actually have before, was when I'm in noise cancellation. You know, sometimes when you are in um, noise cancellation mode, your AirPods, when they get loose, then it affects the seal and the noise cancellation effect is not that good. But I made sure that my uh, AirPods were in like all the way. And, you know, I keep doing this all the time, but pretty much, you know, my AirPods fit really good. But sometimes what I realized when I was doing the testing was that the noise cancellation sometimes would pause, especially if I pass in a place where there is music or something speaking on the TV, like someone on the TV. It was like, sometimes it would pause. It wasn't like so often, but it did happen a few times. And I was like, what? Am I in like uh, conversation awareness? Or does it think that the voice that is coming from the TV is actually speaking to me. But yeah, my conversation awareness was actually off. I never turned this on. But yeah, that pausing, still experience it. But you know, where I am right now, there's no like background TV or anyone speaking. But I thought that was kind of weird. And that's one of the only bugs that I faced on this AirPods. There's also someone that DM'd me and they stated that they don't have the ability to change or control active noise cancellation from their AirPods stem. And I actually think I know why that might be happening. So connect your AirPods to your iPhone and then go and select your AirPods right there. And right here, you can see we have the section that talks about uh, press and hold right there. So you have controls for the left and right and there's an arrow right there and here you can actually change some of the settings right here and you can choose whether you want left to control Siri or right as well because the same settings that you have for left and right are the same you can customize it according to your need but if you don't have noise cancellation or it's not ticked off then you won't be able to actually turn on noise cancellation from the right uh, pod if i turn it off like this if it's off just go in and make sure it's set i know there have been cases and i've experienced it before myself where i go in and turn off a few stuff usually i like to have noise cancellation and then uh this one just this on but sometimes what happens it seems to revert after some firmware updates and that's an issue that apple needs to look into and i i don't know if they fixed it yet because i didn't pay attention to it but other than that that's how this update is for me um i want to show you the release notes of this updates because you can see here on the airpods firmware update page since this is a beta update they haven't talked much about it you can see right now what's publicly available if you aren't on the developer mode and you don't have this beta update you have this build number 7b21 for the airpods pro 2 with usb c and if you have the one with um, uh, lightning, it's the same build number. And then if you have the AirPods 4, you have 7B20. That's if you don't have this uh, developer beta mode and you didn't download the beta firmware version 
for your AirPods. So pretty much that's how this update is for me on my device. And I've been testing it for, like I mentioned, about a day. If there's issues that you been experiencing and you want to know whether this build number fixes them although it's a beta build so not too many people are going to update to it so let me know what your issues and concerns are in the comment section below and if i get the time i'll test them and uh, reply back my name is ben and i think that's pretty much about it peace